Good afternoon, everybody. I am back with the patriotic living room tour, and I'll give you another little quick update. John had a great night last night. Um, he ate dinner. He didn't get indigestion. This morning, he was feeling good, so we went to the yard sales. Um, he got just a little bit of indigestion from breakfast, but not, not really bad. Uh, so he's doing better. He uh, is still not 100%, uh, and I know that'll probably be after he gets the stent out, but he is doing better, and we still thank you so much for the prayers because I know that is what is pulling him through. So let's get on with the patriotic tour. Down here in the little child's chair, I have that cute patriotic pillow, the star shapes, that my friend made us. And it's sitting on one of my finished doilies. And then there is a beautiful red lantern. I love these lanterns. I use them for most all the time except for Easter and um, Halloween. Up here, I have a lot of vintage pieces. I'm going to get back so you can see the whole thing. The flag hanging on the front of the jelly cupboard my friend made us it's made out of strips of fabric and strips of lace and she put it on a little ruler and i just think that is so sweet i love it over on the right are those star pictures that john took the metal stars and made frames for him. up at the very top the red transfer wire is still there with the little bless your heart pillow. And I've got my two Betsy Ross vintage plates here. This is the blue one. They're made in England. And up here is the red one. And, of course, it wouldn't be complete without my Uncle Sam and Betsy Ross, Anna Lee's. And this little Uncle Sam here, that's one that our son got me many, many years ago when he was a teenager. I think he bought that at a, at a local store that's no longer here. My kids used to love to go there to buy me gifts because they knew I loved that place. And there's a little Home Sweet Home metal sign that came from Hobby Lobby. Just a candle in the blue and white pedestal. One of my English white ironstone pictures with just some succulents and the flag. And I just hung these two on the doorknobs. There's that beautiful eagle pillow that we got at Michael's for half price. So you can see the whole wall. Didn't change a lot down here. I just added some of my little vintage pieces to my dough bowl with the shoe forms. Y'all saw these pieces when I did the vintage patriotic items we have. And I put the star table runner from Target several years ago. and still have vintage heart 
that I made out of an old quilt a long time ago. And they're sitting on the old books. And of course, right now, this beautiful old flag hand-painted picture is right in style. I just love that. That was my yard sale treasure from many years ago. And along with my ironstone pictures, I put that cute little Uncle Sam that we got from Gabe's. And this is a little handmade heart out of a old flag that I bought at a craft show, and then I added the little Uncle Sam on it. Fourth of July. And then over here, on the wall is the Billy Jacobs print of the flag, the crock, the star, and the Bible. And I'm sure a lot of you know that he passed away not long ago. The world lost a wonderful, talented artist. But the family, I think, are still going to keep his gallery open and sell his prints. Over here, there's that wonderful antique sailor doll that we got a couple years ago at a yard sale. More of the vintage pieces of paper ephemera that you saw in my video. That's an old flag that they're on. And the anchor plate and cup, those are Ray Dunn. And then there is that super cute Uncle Sam from Michaels. And this vintage frame, let me see if I can, yeah. We picked this up at a yard sale and it's got an old sailor guy and a sailor gal in it. I just love that. And it says USA down there. It says, though far apart, heart speaks to heart. But that's a treasure. I didn't show you that when I did the vintage pieces because I hadn't got it out yet, but that is a wonderful vintage piece. And then over in the milk glass pedestal that we got at that yard sale a few weeks ago, I just put some of the blue and white carpet balls, as they call them. And there's that topiary that I got at the yard sale. And up here in the row pottery crock with stars, I just put red and white flowers with a flag. There's that Swiss vintage box. This is that big Lori Mitchell that a friend gave us several years ago. And there are those two cute little vintage sailors. And the little vintage hanky. Statue of Liberty Pella. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting a frog in my throat. And up here, cute little duck, chick or duck, I'm not sure which that is, with the little flag. It's a little breezy outside. You can see the beautiful trees swaying with the breeze. And right here, some more of those vintage pieces. And this pretty quilt, handmade quilt that we got at a yard sale that's probably been 10 years ago. And it's so pretty. And there's the pillow from the yard sale also. And the cobalt is perfect for this time of year. I put flags in the love heart. There's my big Anna Lee sailor girl. One of my flag books. And this cute little bobblehead. See if I can make his head bobble for you. Well, he doesn't want to bobble, but he's a bobblehead. And he's holding an Uncle Sam mask. That came from a yard sale years ago. And 
God bless America, my home sweet home. And I have my Jim Shore, Uncle Sam, and Lady Liberty under the big cloche. And some of my finished postcards. And then the boy and girl. Those are reproductions from Hobby Lobby. Annalise. My wonderful old salt glaze pitcher. Uncle Sam Annalie, and then my patriotic tree. Lots of pretty patriotic ornaments. Most I've had for a long time. Still have the bee things over here. They're a little bit different because I did some rearranging of all the bee items. And I put the lemon plates in here with them. Over the door, the only thing I did was hang that star up there. Let me go down these creaking steps. Just put some artificial cosmos with some flags <clears throat> in the longer burger basket. The red and blue stained glass is perfect for this time of year. And the farmer's market with florals and a flag. And the angel that hangs there most of the time. And a lot of more of our vintage pieces. These are all banks. Now the bird seed is just a tin. It's not a bank. And the Bonami is still full of Bonami. But these were all banks on this shelf. And then up on the top are the super old spice and tea tins. And then up there is the big, big vintage Cupid Cup ice cream sign. And more of our favorite tins. I don't think I changed anything on this shelf either. And still have these wonderful old prints well enjoy the rest of your day and happy fourth of july to everyone i hope god blesses you and i hope you have a wonderful time with family and friends tomorrow till the next time